Oh yeah, it's a new, a new group of drawings for me the last year or so, and uh, they're related to repetitive motion drawing, kind of repeating a, repeating a similar form, and to some degree not looking directly at the paper, to some degree uh, making these marks uh, without without looking, I mean they're not they're not blindly done, but there's some degree of just automate automated drawing. Uh, automated. Well, well, kind of uh, impulsive drawing, but uh, but with a repetitive gesture. So I kind of know that I'm that I'm doing this kind of stepped form and that it's going to develop itself as I proceed, but I'm, I'm not necessarily uh, analyzing it as it develops. It's more that it will just grow, and there's a certain point where I, I feel that the drawing is finished. Um, so they have, they have a little bit of an open-endedness. Continuity. A, a continuity. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, from from this group of drawings are all all really based on on a similar similar way of working. So, um, you, it's actually quite a good selection these three because you can see see the range. Some of them are, are more dense and overdrawn, and other ones um, are quite open and uh, you know a little bit spare. This one here has some printing just hand printed from <coughs> rubber, some rubber mat material that I have in the studio and uh, just just directly so, inking and pressing that. So this rubber material or? Well, the, these little dots are impressions from, from a kind of uh, rubber mat with, a, with texture. So, so I'm also bringing some of that into the into then the you drawing. Your, your last work, uh, last year, the work in the plastic, remember? There was something take about your plastic. Uh, it was uh, oh. encased uh, paint, yeah. old dried paint uh, shards from my from my mixing pots and things. Yeah, I think that's what you're remembering. Uh, yeah, in a, in a way, these these drawings also grow out of. Being in the studio, having things around, and and kind of using what's at hand. Some of the materials that I might have used in my sculpture, for instance, um, may end up functioning as something to print from for drawings. So, you know, my my practice is pretty interwoven.